Okay, so similar to the rest of this Arrowhead Ranch community, it's all a little bit older, but what's interesting is this portion of it along this street looks at least in much better repair than a few of the other parts. So first home with the big lot that we saw, obviously that, that neighborhood was very nice, but the one that was um, on the street with the pool, with the diving board in it the other day. I mean, that one, that part of the neighborhood looked pretty disrepaired. So this looks much nicer, a lot nicer landscaping, a lot nicer cars, a lot less cars in the street, a um, lot less damaged stucco and roofs, and this looks much better. Um, I'll come here, give you a little bit better angle. This property actually looks really, really well taken care of and really well cleaned. Um, looks like that gate's open there on the side. Nice little turf front yard, which honestly makes it look really nice and clean. Um, and the lot's a little wider than some of the other ones. So um, this, is a, this isn't a double-sized gate on this side, but it's definitely an oversized gate. I would say borderline this gate could almost fit a golf cart by itself uh, on a pretty pretty close so bigger than a normal size gate and then on this side over here first of all here's a better look at the house um on this side over here you definitely have the you know the double sized almost rv gate width um not that you necessarily want to do that, but it just, just to give you a feel of how you know big the lot is from a curb appeal standpoint. While I'm here, I'll go walk in, kind of show you this area. There's a little um, landscaping right here, patio area. Look over the back. Some area along the side there. So a little bit bigger lot than what it looks like from the photos. As you walk in, you kind of walk in onto this landing here. So super high ceilings in the living room. Like I was saying, this is kind of like the house that we just moved out of. Um, so everything on the downstairs is just your common area. So your living room, dining room, um, like a pretty big living room. So you could get a full sectional in here, even maybe a desk against the wall, something like that. TV, TV above the fireplace, dining room over there in the corner, kitchen over there. Um, pretty big dining area too. So kind of go whatever direction you want. It's definitely big enough for smaller farm table kind of a dining area, or you could just go um, smaller round dining table here in the bay windows. Bar stools up against there. That's pretty much the setup that we had. And then what's interesting is they did, all the cabinets are existing. They're older shaker style, but they're in good condition. Like. You know, they, they could easily be painted. So um, they redid these countertops, but they did not re... Well, actually, they redid this too. It's just a different color for whatever reason. Uh, it honestly, it looked like it was um, laminate for a second because it was different color, but it is not. It's, it's the same stuff. It's just a different color. I don't know why you would do that. Um, anyways, so dishwasher under here because we were worried, worried about that. So matching stainless steel stove microwave dishwasher. Um, nice little porcelain sink. Definitely looks usable. Again, all these cabinets, decent condition. Can be repainted. A little dirty on the inside, but paint them, they look all right. Um, you kind of walk, before you walk into the garage here, there's a little washer, dryer, alcove. Kind of a weird setup, but it is private, so you can close that off, keep the noise noise levels down if you're working out here or something. Um, show you the garage while we're here. Um, I have already walked this off, and I could definitely park my truck in here. I'd say I could park in here with an extra foot on the front and back end. It's just a little bit deeper. Um, and you got this big cabinet there too. You could remove if you needed the extra foot or so, but 
better storage on the sides and more room on the side over here so it's not your super crammed two two car garage like a few of the other ones we've looked at um you know those shelves you can get a lot of storage with some bins on those shelves golf clubs all that good stuff or tear them out and park a golf cart in here. So, um, but I definitely feel way more comfortable that you could park your truck in here. And also it's very nicely finished inside. It's, it's just all drywall textured, white paint. So really clean. Um, obviously, you know, oil stains on the garage floor, but that's easy to paint over with some garage floor sealant or something. So already looking, feeling a little bit better. Full disclosure, there's a, slight tinge of uh, mildew. So not sure if that's coming from the AC or I don't know, this carpet looks new. So I, I don't think it's coming from the carpet. There are some stain marks on the baseboards over there. So could potentially have been flooded at one point. Uh, not flooded, but you know, maybe a water leak or something. This carpet definitely looks new. that mildew tinge just got stronger up here. So I'm guessing, honestly, it smells like, it's, uh, to be completely honest, it smells like urine. It smells like, like dog or cat pee in the carpet. So I'm gonna guess this carpet's not new. So, all right, long hallway like master. It's definitely wide enough for like a big king size bed. Um, definitely long enough for, you know, lots of other furniture. Since you guys are working from home while you're down here, you could easily have a bed here in the middle, side table, side table, and like a desk out here in this little bay window area. That would honestly be really fun sitting here looking at the golf course. So you have just reach in, um, it's just not sliding very well. Okay, I'm not gonna break that. You just have reach in room length closets, which for, you know, this being more of a vacation home actually probably is just fine. It goes all the way down there. So no walk-in, just reach in closets. Um, obviously I'll walk out there in the door in just a second. Um, kind of a smaller master bathroom I think the reason why it feels smaller though is because there's not a closet in here. So you kind of walk in, they got some newer countertops on, on here. We got existing cabinets. So these black countertops would look great if those cabinets were white, but they don't really go together now. Um, toilets tucked in here behind this door, stand up shower in here, and then a big wide soaking tub. Um, these are not very deep. I just tore out this exact same one out of our new house. Put in more of a freestanding one that's a lot deeper so I can actually fit in it. But yeah, so that's the bathroom. We'll get out here to the to the deck because this is the money shop. Katie, you are right. This is definitely a Trex out on this deck. Um, it feels very sturdy, so I'm not concerned about any potential water damage. So it is not even wiggling or anything. So definitely feel very good about that. This will give you a better view of the course here too. Somebody driving up on the golf cart there. Um, I do not see any pools in these backyards. So that'll be a good thing to figure out. Um, but I definitely, I do not see why you could not have a pool. A little gate out there on the uh, on the fence. We'll hop there right on there on the golf course. So yeah, the yard definitely feels a little bit bigger from up here for sure. And definitely with that side yard. I think if you put the pool over on this side and you have this extra little area here for some, for some patio on both sides, do the lawn over there. I think it's gonna be just fine. It feels way bigger than it looks like in the pictures. So, all right, let's check out these other bathrooms and then I will FaceTime you guys. There are other bedrooms. Okay, 
very clean, new countertops, existing tile, existing tub, attic access up there. Um, huge bedrooms. Like, this is probably like 15 by 18. Huge bedrooms. There's the closets. This one is probably, it's actually the exact, yeah, it's the exact same. So this one's probably like 15 by 18 too. And there's that. Let's see, yeah, like the exact same. So, yeah, that's it. Here's a view from upstairs. There we go. Alright, I will FaceTime you guys. Well, here, let me go downstairs and go to the yard. It's also much, much, much quieter in this neighborhood. You can't hear any cars, not even highway, let alone freeway, so. door handles apparently don't know how to use those here's a view from walking out so a little bit of a view of the deck here it's definitely some staining but it almost looks like from when they built the trek stuff maybe whatever they use to paint there's i don't think you usually stain that stuff but um yeah now that i see it actually they went tracks over wood over existing wood so a little bit of wood rot here it's kind of a weird way to do it but it works you could either paint this cover it up uh, here's more of a look at the yard so as you come out here got this old kind of outdoor kitchen feature over there obviously here's the golf course looks nice and green in the heat of the summer here. People playing out there. And again, westward facing. So that at nighttime is a sunset every night, like clockwork. No clouds. Actually, even when there are clouds, the sunsets are better. So you're gonna have sunsets here every night and morning coffee looking out on the golf course. Some bunkers out there. And your gate right here to hop out here at night. The cool thing is pretty much no one plays evening golf here, which is kind of opposite of Seattle. People usually try to play Twilight in Seattle. You could almost assuredly hop out here at like 545 every evening and just play this hole by yourself. <laughs> I certainly would. So yeah, here's the little side yard gate over there. Here's a look at this neighbor's property here. It looks Kind of nice. So yeah, even with this retaining wall coming around the side, you know, that kind of makes it feel smaller. But if you tear this out, it gives you that extra square footage and just landscape the pool like right up to the corner here. Then you have more patio area back there. Shoot, maybe even hot tub kind of like grotto, pool, waterfall in the corner, pool right here. Hot tub kind of off to the side over there. Put your pool pump and all the equipment back by the air conditioner back there. So I, I feel like there's definitely enough space for a decent pool. And it looks like they've moved this wall at some point and who knows why. But what I would do personally, because this is definitely wide enough for a golf cart I would put a gate right here, drive your golf cart in, close the gate, and then back up and park your golf cart right here. And then obviously drive out on the golf cart there if you can, or you know drive through the streets to get there. I'm sure there's some entrance, entrances you can drive through. All right, I will FaceTime you guys here in a second. That's 